Hi everyone and welcome and welcome back to the channel. Last weekend I went to the Midwest Reptile Expo and I was so excited for it because I hadn't been to a reptile expo for so long. And originally this video was going to be all about that reptile expo, but it really didn't turn out that way. And it was really pretty disappointing. The space for the expo was really way too small for it, and it was super crowded. I didn't even bother filming anything once I got in the doors because it was just so crazy. I nearly had a panic attack by the time I had left. And aside from that, they could have just renamed it and called it the Midwest Ball Python Expo. But enough about that. I still am very excited because I left with two new tarantula slings, and they are both species that I've always wanted. The Chaco Golden Knee and the Golden Blue Legged Baboon. So in today's video, we're going to get these two little guys set up in their new homes. And I know that whenever I post tarantula content, it never really does as well as far as views go. But this channel is all about all of the animals that live in this room. And I'm really excited about these two new members of the family. I have this small round glass bottle with a wooden lid that I've been saving for just this purpose. I drilled some very small holes in the lid for ventilation, and I'm going to put the Chaco Golden Knee in here. It's going to be a very simple setup, just a layer of substrate, a small piece of bark to burrow under, and some sphagnum moss in one corner to hold some humidity. I'm happy with this. It's going to be a nice home for this little sling. So let's get him in here.
golden blue-legged baboon, I have a little bit of a bigger sling enclosure. And since this is my first old world tarantula, that's going to be just as well, because maybe I won't have to rehouse it as soon. And for him, it's the same simple setup. This is a species that's sometimes fossorial as slings, so I gave him a deeper layer of substrate. And it's also a species that can be fast and bolty, so I'm a little bit nervous about this one. So let's see how it goes putting him in here. I'm still fairly new to keeping tarantulas, but I'm getting less and less nervous about rehousing them. But nonetheless, I'm glad they made it into their enclosures without any hang-ups. They're so tiny, and tarantula slings are fairly fragile and vulnerable. And no matter how careful I am about their husbandry, I'm still a little bit nervous for them. But I'm pretty confident I can help them thrive. I'm sure there will be update videos on these guys in the future, and by that time I should have names for them. And if you follow the channel, you'll be able to watch them grow into beautiful adult tarantulas. So that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.